Okay, so now we've got our gauge dash installed and set up. The next thing we're going to do is work on our cooling, get our radiator mounted. I will point this out. The way PRW has set this up is you have uh, unlimited options on how you want to do your radiator. If you want to use the radiator uh, that's there, there's, uh, you can mount it at any position. You, you see that we've actually drilled holes because we've kind of figured out exactly where we want the radiator to sit in our engine test stand. But they have given you the option to drill it anywhere you want, use any sort of bracketing you want, and then you can have it set up just to custom for your applications. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to go take a look at the radiator that they've provided with the kit and show you how we've designed our bracketing and our mounting system. Okay, so before we get this radiator mounted up, let's go over some of the features of the PRW radiator that they've sent us. Again, as we said, everything is uh, modular. You've got uh, mounting bungs on the sides, but you also have them on the front for universal mounting, so you can, again, get it mounted exactly how you want in your engine test stand. Um, both of the outside tanks and the top and bottom are welded, polished 661 aluminum. Um, everything, uh, you've got the pet petcock valve at the bottom. A really nice setup for your engine test stand. Again, as Scott said, it's a great piece if you just need the, the next upgrade for your hot rod. And a great radiator to, to look at. So when we get this mounted up, we've already, already fabricated our brackets for this because we kind of figured out where we wanted it. This is just some simple aluminum angle iron that we've uh, mounted uh, or matched up with our radiator so that uh, we can get it mounted into our engine test stand. We've got the level where we want it on the radiator show you how easy it is to install. Again, one thing to remember is your radiator needs to be set up properly in the engine test stand so the engine will run properly. The one thing they, that you want to keep in mind is that it is a fluid system so the radiator will need to be mounted in such a way that the top valve of the radiator is the highest point in the system so that you can get it to drain and fill properly. Uh, again, because remember you are dealing with liquids, it is all going to run downhill so you need to make sure that the piece where you are going to be filling and, and monitoring the liquid is the highest point in the system. So we're going to show you how easy this is to install and move on to the next part of the system. Be right back. Okay, so now we've got it installed and you can see where we've got it set up is where we thought was optimal for our installation and the engine that we know we're going to be building first on the setup. But again, keep in mind that you're going to want to spec all of this out before you actually do the official install so you know exactly where every part of the system needs to go. If you come to this side, you'll see we also uh, fabricated a bracket for the uh, overflow tank to get it over here to the side so that it would be easy to plumb back into the radiator system. It's just a very simple bracket using the same material we used for the other one. Uh, and then have it installed and it's locked into place. Again, the cooling system is ready to go. We'll move on to the next part and we're almost done, so stay with us.